but let's say artificial intelligence, which on the one hand is heavily overestimated in its impact on the labor market, but at the same time it's a force to be reckoned with. So you can't wait as an employee or as a company uh, for this to happen. You need to take an initiative. All of the jobs that can be automated are going to be, so all of those kind of tasks, we won't need people to do them anymore. So I think there'll be a really fundamental question about um, what is the nature of work and even in my industry, which is a creative one, we often like to think that robots and artificial intelligence won't be able to do all of that creative work. I suspect that they will be able to do a lot of it. With the increased use of uh, social media, both parties, employers and job seekers, we will naturally want to know more about places they will be working at, uh, about how is this job seeker, is he reliable, how is he in life. So basically both parties would be looking for additional signals, trust signals. And this is where uh, social play media clearly will play a big role. It's less about one particular app or one particular platform that's going to change how we work. I think it's the idea that people are going to make choices that they didn't have before. People are going to make choices about when they want to work. People are going to make choices about who they want to work for in a much more flexible way. So you're going to see people fractionalize their time. You're going to see people decide to work for one individual today and a different individual tomorrow. And you see that happening today, whether it's platforms like Handy, like Lyft, like Uber. People are making much more active choices about how and when and where and why they're going to work. And that's the trend that we expect to see continue. One in six jobs will really disappear because more than 70% of the jobs uh, will be automated away. One uh, job which will be gone is a uh, driver. Funny enough, uh, today there's a lot of scarcity in drivers. They're very tough to find. So what you need to do here today is if you're a driver, what you normally see is they are interested in, in technology, in engines and that sort of thing and your job will probably disappear five to ten years from now. It's not going to happen overnight, so you need to uh, get some schooling to maybe become a repair technician or a maintenance technician, uh, and that's something you really need to do yourself. I shouldn't rely on your employer or the government to do this. You really need to find your way here. As AI and robotics take away traditional jobs, I think individuals at the same time are getting connected to each other on the internet. We have half the planet that's connected to the internet today, about 3.7 billion people. And within the next decade, seven to 10 years, we should see the majority of the planet that's connected via the internet. Think about that for a second. Five billion more minds that are added to this network. And what that will do is AI and robotics take traditional jobs. I think individuals will start to become of the crowd economy. That now, since it's a, an eight billion people connected, your ability to make income or to contribute um, via the, the crowd economy, I think will become the norm. So I think we'll go from an agricultural economy to an industrial economy, to somewhat of an office economy that we went through, to a data economy, and I think we'll get very much into a crowd economy. People are very worried, wrongly, that uh, technology is going to take the jobs away. That's not true, it's just going to change our jobs. Some jobs will naturally disappear, and. AI just going to bring new jobs. A lot of stuff is going to get turned on its head and, um, and I think it's best to be optimistic and excited about that rather than worried about it and imagine what we could be doing with ourselves in a different context rather than waiting to be hit by a bus. <laughs> Are you asking me whether in the future I'm going to have some AI bot interview me instead of me doing this? Or a bigger question is will there be an AI version of me here being a CEO, so will all companies just be run by AI? I hope not.